saving a PDF and you're you're changing it from uh, or you're just trying to save it for print ready uh, the new Photoshop 2024 has messed up presets okay so if any of you don't know how they work um, it can actually be really a, quite a struggle um, you'll notice here that some of my fonts disappeared uh, the lines changed things went away um, the color is faded if you see the two different colors here the reds are way wrong the blacks are faded uh, they're not truly black the grays can sometimes be washed out everything just looks washed out it looks terrible um, and it's not saved in high resolution either as you as you look closer it's all pixelated right so like this is a problem uh, for anybody who is a designer and trying to send something over to the printer in high resolution so let's get to it how do we change that or how do we fix that the big thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and take our file whatever the file is here and uh, I go ahead and just duplicate the group or you can just highlight every layer and then command E and that will go ahead and, and compress everything down into one file so we shouldn't lose any of our lines or any of our text or fonts or creative in it uh, the next thing we want to do is go to file and then we're gonna click save as this is what you've always been used to or maybe in the past you've used save a copy or save as copy and then you switch the preset to PDF instead of Photoshop <clears throat> in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and switch it to PDF uh, we're just gonna go ahead and call this uh, updated and uh, color profile and then uh, we're gonna click save now it's gonna ask us uh, if uh, we want to change these settings it's fine just click OK um, now I've already created a preset for the new one but what you're gonna see underneath the compression status is you're gonna first off want to uncheck this box preserve Photoshop editing capabilities up here it's gonna say that there are no presets available like your old press ready remember that that was so nice to have well it's not there anymore uh, so go ahead and click on um, general uncheck this box compression it wants to downsample everything which is terrible uh, we don't want to downsample anything so do not downsample we want this to be normal we want our image to be of maximum quality we don't want it to sample that down either our output it wants to convert to destination and it wants to convert the color sample uh, color conversion to this US sheet fed uncoded v2 we do not want that uh, you may want a uh, CMYK or in this case for this particular application I'm gonna use Apple RGB and I'm gonna go ahead after I have all of those conversions set you can save your preset as press ready or maybe digital ready PDF and then click uh, save PDF and once you do that uh, now we go ahead and go back to that file and we've got this voucher here and if I minimize this and you take a look at the color because I'm using RGB yet in a digital sampling uh, it's gonna look you know a little bit different red but for the most part very close blacks are absolutely true blacks my grays are true grays nothing's washed out I'm not missing any of my fonts and this problem is solved so guys if that's what you were looking for today wanting to get rid of the PDF washouts in 2024 Photoshop Creative Cloud We've just achieved that for you. Hope that helps, and uh, may you keep your stick on the ice. Adios, guys. Bye.